There was a time in my life where I was I I I, 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 I was promoted in the local assembly, a local church where I was pastoring. I pastored in the church for about a year, and the and the senior pastor came the beginning of that year and said, um, the Lord told me that. Jennifer Adenekon should be the senior pa- um, should be the senior pastor of the church. So he is the general overseer, and then me uh, just next to him. And guess what? I was the youngest in the meeting in, in, amongst the pastors, and I I rejected. I said no. I'm too young. How can I be a senior pastor to all of these pastors? They are older than me, so I'm like fathers. I I cannot be a senior. He said, Well, the Lord said you are should make you the senior pastor and so he poured oil on my head and what do i say god said two days later i went back i went to work i came back i was doing very well made food for my family i felt a little headache went to lie down i woke up from lying down after making dinner for my family i woke up coughing raw blood and so when you see people pray the way they pray when you see people angry when they pray some shout when they are praying, some scream when they are praying, some vibrate when they are praying. It is because of what they have experienced. It is because of the, 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 the attacks they have gone through in life. I woke up two days after may, being made a senior pastor in the church. I woke up two days later coughing blood. Went to the hospital. Now I woke up coughing raw blood. Raw blood was gushing out of my mouth. I could not get up from the bed. Two days after being made a senior pastor in the church, I thought being made a senior pastor would have brought you a kind of covering, a Shekinah glory. What happened? And then we, I couldn't get up from the bed. My husband had to carry me like a baby into the car. But when I was on my way to the hospital, I knew this was an attack onto death. I had never felt so weak in my life. I had nothing in my body to make me cough raw blood. I don't have tuberculosis. I don't have any underlying health issue. How can I go to work, come back, make dinner for my family? And then I lay down and I wake up two hours later, coughing raw blood. I said, God, I prayed my prayer of David. I said, God, search my heart and search my hands. I said, God, search my heart and search my hands. Lord, if thou find evil in my heart, if thou find evil in my hands, let me not survive this. But if thou search my heart, if thou search my hands, and you do not find evil, you do not find evil imaginations against my neighbor, you do not find evil, then Lord, deliver me from this. I will not die from this. In the name of Jesus, that was the only prayer I remember praying and then I passed out. What do you have in your spirit in the day of adversity? For every man, the day of adversity will come. The Bible says, if thy fainted, if thy fell on the day of adversity, it says your faith is small. It means that your faith is weak. What do you have in your spirit for the day of adversity? On the day of adversity, your billions in your account is not going to save you. On that day of adversity, the connection you have will not save you. On that day of adversity, the love of your father, the love of your mother, the love of your husband, the love of your children will not save you. It is the word of God you have in your spirit that you are going to pull out. And if you have nothing in your spirit on that day, then what happens to you? You will fall and you will fail and then you will die like a chicken and then people will say, oh, he was serving God and he died in service. No, it's because there was nothing in your spirit to attack the devil. The Bible says the word of God is the sword of the spirit. The word of God in you is the sword of the spirit. I want you to be set up this morning in this year 2024. Make it your most spiritual year. Make it a year when you decide, I'm I'm going to walk closely with God. I'm going to build intimacy with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray like never before. I'm going to build a prayer altar. I will not go for myself, nor for what people say. I'm going to walk closely with this God who can do all things. Because I know if I partner with him and I walk with him, he's going to make rivers in the wilderness. He'll make rivers in the desert for me. Oh, thank you, Lord. I want you to understand. 
that because this God is the God of all possibility, he became man. <laughs> he became man just to die for you and I, to redeem us unto himself. And that is why we can now call him father. In the Old Testament, nobody called him father. None of the prophets would call him father. So he became man. He wanted closure with us, just like he had with Adam and Eve in the garden before they sinned. And that is why he became man, because he's God of all possibility. He's God all powerful. He's God omnipotent. He's God omniscient. He's God omnipresent. He's God who can do anything and everything. There is nothing impossible for him to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I've come to tell you this morning that when Jesus died, the Bible says he died, he went to hell. He wrestled with the devil. He took the keys of life and death from the devil. And then what did he do? He left the power with us. He didn't go to heaven with the power. He gave us the power. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I want you to understand that in this earth right now, in this dispensation, this our dispensation, the currency to unlock the possibility of God is the currency of faith. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So for you to assess all of the dimension of God, you have to have faith. Can somebody open your mind right now and say, Lord, impact me afresh this morning. With the spirit of faith, renew my faith this morning. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your mercy and your grace, renew my faith. In the name of Jesus, Father, renew my faith. Renew my faith in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know, in Matthew 17, verse 20, the Bible says, and Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, because of your unbelief, you cannot have this same dimension of power. You cannot operate in this same dimension of power. You cannot work miracles. You cannot work signs. You cannot see wonders. You cannot cast out demons because of your unbelief. And that is why I said earlier, you must believe. And he said, very that's unto you. If your faith be as small as a mustard seed, you shall see unto this mountain, be that removed. Hence to yonder place and it shall be removed and nothing shall be impossible. I want you to understand that the woman with the issue of blood who had been whom the doctors have failed, her money has failed her, her connection has failed her, her head was still failing, the demon was right inside of her, making her weak, it was going to kill her slowly. There are people who die suddenly, but there are people who know the program for you is not to die slow suddenly, the program is for you to die slowly. <laughs> I want you to pray right now, say Lord, every program of the, of the devil concerning me, concerning my health, today in the name of Jesus, be nullified. Be nullified in the name of Jesus. I cancel. I nullify every program against my health. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. The woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says that she had battled with this. Health has failed. Health sector had failed her. Um, the doctors had failed her. Her money had failed her. Her connection had failed her. Her husband looked upon her. There's nothing he could do. And that day she said, What? Well, if only I can be touch the helm of this garment. Does somebody want to touch him this morning? Do you want to touch God? Let faith arise in you, in the name of Jesus Christ. But we say, if only you can touch the hem of his garment. And the woman with the issue of blood, the Bible says, what happened to her? She touched the hem of his garment and what happened? She was made whole. She was healed. If you can touch the hem of his garment, just the hem of his garment this morning, every situation will begin to turn around for you. The Bible says in Luke 10 verse 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon snakes and upon scorpions and upon all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by enemies for you. It means that when Jesus was living, he didn't live with the power, he gave us the power. Oh, thank you, so the Spirit of God. I want you to know that it doesn't matter how long that situation is. If only you can stop your faith, you can put an end to every oppression and oppression of the kingdom of darkness.